In this session, we'll see about router transformation. Router transformation is an active transformation that routes data into multiple output groups based on one or more conditions. So if you need to test the same input data based on multiple conditions, use a router transformation rather than uh, creating multiple filter transformation because uh, creating one router transformation is more efficient than multiple filter transformations. Today, uh, the scenario for this router transformation is we'll be uh, loading employees in different departments into different tables. Suppose uh, in my employee table, I have three uh, departments 10, 20, 30. So employees uh, in department 10 to one table in 20 to another table. So let's see how this can be accomplished using the router transformation. First, let's start by creating a uh, mapping okay our source here is employee table let's read and let's take in the router transformation So let's select all of these to the router transformation. So they have automatically come to the in input group. So let's see the properties of this router transformation. So these are the input ports. Now let's go to groups. So in groups, there are two kinds of groups, the user defined group and the default group. So this is the user defined group where we give uh, the group name and the group filter condition and the default group uh, the developer tool creates the default group after you create one user defined group. The developer tool does not allow you to edit or delete the default group. This group does not have a group filter condition associated with it. So if all the group conditions that we give here evaluates to be false then it comes to the default group. So let's first start uh, uh, creating the groups. First one is department 10 filter condition. Let's give the filter condition here. So go to ports. So I want to create here three groups uh, for the three departments that is present. Expression is valid. Okay. So again the second one, department 20, so the same way create for all three. Validate, okay, okay, create one more. So suppose in my employee table, I have department 40. So if I don't give uh, department 40 here, all those records would go into the default group here. So now if you check our router transformation, we have the input. We have department 10 group, department 20 and department 30. Okay, so now let's take our target tables it is right okay right okay and 30 right okay so first department 10 since they are in the same order so I am selecting all together so next is department 20 yeah. and finally our department 30 
so yeah if you see there is a default group here if there is any data present here if I don't uh, forward it to the next transformation or to the target table so they get deleted otherwise they would go to that uh, next transformation so now let's validate this mapping and then run it so these are our target tables here see uh, I have all department 20 into this department 20 table and this is my department 10 and this is my department 30 so for more tutorials on Informatica Power Center Express go to a to z informatica.blogspot.com thank you